We are. We about to unleash. We about to give the truth to the old school, middle age. We about to unleash. Hey, family, listen. You all got to stop making this thing personal when you're thinking about Trump or when you're thinking about Kamala. Listen, this is not about them as an individual. They are just representations of a party that is bigger than what your eyes can see. Kind of like the Bloods and Crips, all right, Democrats and Republicans. Let me tell you something. They are endorsed by thousands and thousands of people that believe in the Republican agenda or either the Democrat agenda. They are just representation. You know why they choose Trump? Because Trump don't mind getting up there, saying whatever he needs to say whatever they want him to say whatever he gotta say and guess what he say some of the stuff they don't want him to say they love it but at the end of the day he's representing what their values and morals and belief in the same thing is with the democratic party it wasn't about joe biden and how sweet it is he's just a representation you all gotta go back and learn local government local government it's the people that in your local community that is really governing your community the way that it is okay so the president only deal with so much stuff but it's your local government so y'all are taking your eyes off the real true prize but let me just say this trump and camilla is so-called representation of a party now i'm going to say this Republican views have views that you may agree with or disagree with. Likewise, Democratic Party may have things you agree with or disagree with. At the end of the day, you got to understand what is the party's mission? What is their vision? What do they agree with? Stop looking at the people themselves, the representation. It does not work, okay? So, at the end of the day, when it comes to Trump, yes, he represents the Republican Party. He stands for their views and their values and their morals, right? Same thing with Kamala. But I will tell you this. I am a believer and I stand with what God stands on. And if a party specifically stands on the principles, the religious beliefs of God, the kingdom of God, his principles, I stand with that. So if you want to do a comparison, let me do a real quick comparison for you real quick. Okay. So you got Kamala Harrison who may be talking about the importance of the government not having the right to tell a woman what to do with her body. But at the same time, their government tells the person what they can really do with their body. You can abort the baby, you can do this, and you can be protected while you're doing it. Isn't that a contradiction of what we're saying here? So you may have the Republican Party that it says, no, that is murder. And let me tell you from firsthand experience, I have had abortions. Whoop, let the cat out the bag. Abortions with an F on it. My kids already know. <laughs> My world already know, so you ain't going to be exploiting nothing that has not already been told. Make sure that you like, subscribe to this video because you can hear more about my story. However, I still do not agree with it. And in the time that I was doing it, I was very ignorant about what I was doing. And when you all understand that it's something much bigger why they promote it, then you will understand why they are saying not to promote it. Now, at the end of the day, is God for abortions? Absolutely not. How can you make a new rule? God already made the rule. Didn't we say that we are America? You know what I'm saying? Under God? <laughs> under God? Are we under God or are we over God? Let's ask them, are we under God or are we over God? So when you have a, a particular party that really agree with the kingdom of God principles, that's how we vote. So we've been tricked, we've been bamboozled about all these parties. Let me tell you what I saw in this last campaign in my county. I have saw people take Democratic tickets that was not Democrats just to promote their own agenda or to stand behind somebody who was a Democrat who they agreed with. Okay, and I saw vice versa. Those take Republican tickets, okay, to go ahead and uh, and and go ahead and to agree with folks they agree with in that party. So it's not even it's a mixture of stuff going on with these so-called parties, with these so-called gangbangers, Bloods and Crips. There is a mix-up. It's not what it used to be. It's not what your grandma used to vote for. It's not what your, it's not the same. It is different. And there's tricks. There's ways to get around the systems when evil wants to be evil. When evil wants to perform evil. When evil wants to have a sneaky, secret agenda. It knows how to do it. It doesn't matter what party that you put it up under. It knows how to do it. So for you all who are so personal because you don't like the person who like Trump. Grow up. That's immaturity. You are so mad because you don't like the person who like Kamala. Grow up. That's immaturity. Okay? It does not matter whether you like this person or not. Do that party. 
align with your morals, your values, and belief, and that's what you are going for. Am I against abortions? Absolutely. It is murder. But whatever a person chooses to do, I'm not going to judge them for it. All right? Because I've been here and I've done that, and there's all kind of reasons and causes. But at the end of the day, I what God says. Don't murder. So did I have to ask God for forgiveness for my sins? Absolutely. Do I believe God forgave me? Absolutely. Do I desire to do those things? No. I stopped desiring them. That's why my kids made it here. Okay. Now, at the end of the day, do I hate gay people? No. I was raised by a lesbian that was my mother who died. Okay. She was my mother. Auntie slash mother. She raised me. If anybody would talk bad about her or do something to her, oh, I would come for them. But I'm still not going to go against God for my auntie. No. We don't have special rights. That you can go and, and do this and create the schools and, and, and let gay be all over the schools and let this stuff be in your kids. Your kids don't know what they want to be. How can a little kid make a decision and say, Ooh, I think I'm gay. I was born this way. Well, guess what? A murderer thought he was born that way. A prostitute thought she was born that way. Listen, a liar thought they were born that way. But that's why Jesus said you must be born what? Again, hello somebody. Because the Bible says we were all born and shaped in iniquity. That means we all come in here with something. That don't mean we stay the same. That means we change in Jesus' name, but we don't change God's principles or laws to fit our own personal agenda. And listen, y'all got to check this video out that I'm about to play with Camilla sitting there promoting this. Each day, we are seeing our rights and freedoms under attack, including the right of everyone to be who they are, love who they love, openly and with pride. So as we fight back against these attacks, let's all remember, no one is alone. We are all in this together, and your vote is your power. So please make sure your voice is heard this November and register to vote at vote.gov. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Now on with the show. And remember, you better vote. <laughs> A little bit of love. <laughs> I don't stand for that. I don't care if Joe Biden did it, Trump did it. I don't stand for that. And for that, I don't stand for the party that stands for something like this. I fight against it with my children. I explain to them Sodom and Gomorrah. I explain to them the principles of God. And whatever they do and whatever they choose, I'll learn to love them through it. However, however, I still don't go against God's principles, his laws, his morals, and his values. Sin is sin, and it's wrong when it is wrong. So y'all better grow up with this immaturity about who you like and who you don't like, and all got your emotional tied up. You better take your emotional out of the equation when it comes to God, because it is his word that will remain when everything else in this earth go to ashes. Until next time, this is your sister Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. Make sure that you like and you subscribe and you share this video. God's Girls, baby, all over the world. Hello. See y'all later. God bless. Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video everywhere. God's Girls, all over the world.